Hello friends and family of YouTube. Today I have a Jayco SLX 183 RB. I'm gonna show you around the outside first and then I'll take you inside and we'll get away from this traffic noise pretty quick. And I do not work for the company that makes these or sells these. So if I leave anything off, it's purely by accident. But I want to show you this camper just as if you would see this yourself if you were out shopping for one. I've got hundreds of videos. So if this is not the one for you, I guarantee you I've got the camper you're looking for on my, on my channel here on YouTube. Right here, you've got your uh, spare tire mounted onto the very back bumper. On here, you've got uh, four stabilizer jacks. You've got this is the back side of your water heater. Right here is your 30 amp electrical service. You've got your cable satellite TV connection, your city water connection. Both your black and your gray tank dump out right here together. This small camper does have a slide on it. And I'll tell you what else. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little secret on the uh, layout a little bit. It's got a north-south bed. That means that the bed goes this direction as opposed to going this direction. Anyway, this is a water connection if you want to fill up your uh, holding tank. And you've got uh, enough room to put two batteries on the front and one propane tank. And as small as this camper is, you really don't need an electric tongue jack, so this one comes with a manual. And you've got a good size little awning here. What I like about the awning is it does go across the doorway enough so that if it is a mild rain, you don't you can keep the door open and not worry about rain going inside. What I mean by that is if you ever notice, if that, if that awning ends right there beside the doorway, if that rain is just barely blowing, it'll go all inside your camper. All right, so uh, we got a good size storage here underneath. This is underneath the bed. And not a whole lot to show you here. This is a kind of a no frills. This is a back to bare bones basic model. Anytime you see the SLX series, that's kind of what these are. This is Jayco's uh, just getting down to bare bones basics. So uh, you got two step entry of this 183 RB. Let's go inside and see what's going on. Oh, am I glad we are away from all that traffic noise. So here's your uh, entry door. We are facing towards the front. And if you notice, we've got three good size windows giving us all natural light. Everything you see on this video today is all natural lighting. With me not working for the company that makes some more sells them, man, I tell you what, there's a lot of natural light in here. I don't have a way to turn the lights on reason I always have to mention that I don't work for the company that makes them be amazed at how many times I have said that in hundreds of videos and I still have people ask me what's the price of it or do you still have one in stock I guess we got so much going on these days it's hard to keep pay attention very long you got kids screaming at you wanting something and you're trying to watch a video while cooking supper Here's a window where you can jump out in case uh, the place catches on fire and you just thought, man, there is no way I can walk across this floor and go out that door. I've definitely got to jump out that window. Isn't that strange that they put these exit windows? I'm sure they have to do it for some kind of reason. But anyway, see it at every camper. Seems like uh, pillows are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. They gave us two to go with it, which was nice that they did. And they even gave you this cute little bitty one here. <laughs> and you've got two lights right over the bed as well. And let's pan around, show you this dinette, good size dinette. And as I mentioned, this is a slide out unit and that dinette is sitting into the slide. Now it just has one light right here. I would like to have seen just a little bit more lighting put in this this area even though you do have plenty of natural lighting i would imagine at night time if you were wanting to read a book or have something across there it would be a little nicer to have just a little bit more lighting so uh anyway right here we do have well, i gave you a little sneak peek there that we got a bathroom involved here in a minute okay so we got the uh the kitchen right here as well 
Here's your uh, cutoff switches for your uh, propane, your electrical, and uh, your water heater and your water pump, everything right here together. And uh, I said propane. What I meant to say is that your water heater, this is your propane switch for the propane of the water heater itself. So here you have a two burner cooktop and I like that they turned it this direction opposed to this direction. Gives you a lot more countertop space. I doubt that they listened to me on that particular issue, but man, I have talked about that a hundred thousand times that I would have liked to have seen that in different companies, different models. And uh, glad to see somebody has finally changed that as far as putting that uh, two burner cooktop, taking up so much space. I have this Domatic refrigerator freezer combo came factory in my particular camper that I own. You have to turn that on two days before you go camping. Here is your heating system right underneath that two burner cooktop. And they gave you plenty of room for storage. You could put you a kitchen garbage can right there. And I don't believe I mentioned it, but you do have a 110 outlet right here on top of the countertop and that'll be good for giving you the ability to run some kind of electrical device there whether you want to use a blender or whatever and they also give you one right beside the doorway and there is your tv uh, satellite hookup so i would imagine you probably do your tv right here it probably mounts to this wall and right above all that area, you've got a little bit of storage that sits back about 12 inches. That is about a 12 by 12 by 12 storage area. About the same as the microwave. Same amount of space in it. And you've got another one here as well. And that is where the uh, microwave plugs into the wall. And right above this kitchen area, you do have some built-in lighting. Also some speakers that go to your stereo system. And right here is your air conditioning, which is also mounted into the ceiling as well. All right, so now we will go back and check out the bathroom. And you've got plenty of room left and right side to uh, move your arms around, around the toilet. And let's look at how much storage. It looks like there's quite a bit of storage in this bathroom. That sits back probably about 30 inches deep, about 14 inches wide here and we've got about the same in this right above it and again this is right over the commode a lot of people tell me they'd love to see me give further back shots i would love to be able to but sometimes you can only back up as far as you can if i backed up any further i'd be taking a shower right now okay so uh gave you plenty of room on this countertop look at how much room is on it six inches all the way around and you've got a plug right there and you've also got a mirror i stepped out of the way because they say those mirrors and cameras can add about 15 pounds and man i don't need to do that all right right over this bathroom you've got a vent there is not a fan built into that vent but you do have one in the uh i was gonna say you've got one built into the living room but you don't this is actually just a vent only so you would definitely want to check on getting an upgrade there Got this skylight, so if you're one of the taller ones, you definitely can stick your head up in there and give you more, more space. And on the shower head, you've got a cutoff switch that is right here, and that you can turn this, and it will help you save water as you're showering. You can turn it on and off. And right here is your shower uh, valves, and if you notice this pink stuff, that is just antifreeze that they use in campers to keep them from freezing up over the winter time. This is a tub shower. So this tub sits down about 16 inches deep and it's about three foot across this way. All right, so I told you I'd give you a layout of the land. I am straddling over the toilet here in the very back of the camper and I am facing towards the front. Woo, it's starting to get a little hot in here too. That's how we know camping season is coming. All right. So again, we are facing towards the very front of the camper. So now I will turn around from the front and I am facing towards the rear of the camper right here. Plenty of room in this. Now, 
if you're like me, I always wonder how much room would I have if the slide out was closed. It would be fully functional. If that slide out was to come over, you can always look at how wide the slide is right there. Take that same distance, go down to your floor and add that back. You would be able to get by, um, but as far as getting to the toilet, it looks like you would have a struggle because number one, you couldn't open your door, the bathroom door. Now, if you wanted to live single in this thing, it's just gonna be you. You could take that bathroom door off and I do not doubt that you could probably get right by there if that slide was closed. So, food for thought. And here are some of the specifications for this particular model. And at the end of this video, I will have some links to some other similar campers to this particular one. If you're, uh, if this one didn't do it for you, hopefully one of these others that I have a link for you will. I don't work for the company that makes these or sells these. Got any questions? Give Josh a call over at Rocket RV. Folks, I hope y'all enjoyed this one as much as I did and what, what you did like and what you would like to see different. Leave down in the comments below. Don't give me a thumbs down now. Sometimes people do that and I'm like, hey, I had nothing to do with this. I'm just out here showing you this thing. Folks, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. Y'all hit the like and subscribe and that way you will get to see hundreds more campers. I will help you find the camper you were looking for. Folks, I appreciate it. Y'all have a great one. I'll see y'all again real soon. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.